It's been pretty warm, unseasonably warm here in Michigan, and I've taken advantage of that warmth and the heater that I have in my garage. And I've spent a lot of time out here over the course of the last couple of weeks cleaning, organizing, purging, and building, working on some projects that I've wanted to do for quite some time. One of them is what I want to show you guys today. I got a few little odds and ends that I need to wrap up with the project and then I'll take you out back and we'll get it installed and I'll show you how it works and tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it and what I would do differently. Um, either way, it's a really simple project, easy to build and a huge benefit to your bees. If you're a beekeeper in a cold climate where you get snow, you're probably well aware of the fact that when you get snow, you need to go out to your beehives and clear the snow away from their front entrance. They need to be able to use that entrance to come out of the hive and go use the restroom and come back. If their door's blocked, they can't get out. They will dig through the snow if they have to, but I don't think they survive after that. So the concept behind what I built, um, there's a gentleman by the name of Frederick Dunn. He has a YouTube channel as well. His, I, the ones that he built turned out way better than mine. I kind of took his project and adapted it and kind of made it my own. I think his were a little wider. He used one by eight planks, where I only had some leftover one by sixes from our bathroom remodel project that we worked on. So I didn't want to buy wood. I just wanted to use scrap wood. So it's what I used. They're about 16 and 3 8 wide to right here, which is the same width as a 10 frame beehive. These side pieces are about 11 inches long and about two inches wide. They're just screwed on with some screws right here. And the concept here, this will slide up over the front of the beehive and then attach with these little thumb screws to kind of hold it in place. And you can move it up or down or however high or low you think you want it. I did put some bevels on there. Um, this side and, and this side have about a 25 degree angle cut into them. The back one is kind of just so that as it as it sits down on the front of the hive, it'll have a little bit better seal right here. And the front was just kind of give a little drip edge for moisture to actually drip off of something instead of just having a blunt edge there. So these little thumb screw pieces, this is what these look like. These are pretty cool. You basically just drill a hole in a wood in some wood the same size as this little stubby part there. Put that on there and whack it with the hammer. And then get some, these are quarter 20 thumb screws. Just screw right into there and you can use it for all kinds of projects. This project, some other project. I thought those are pretty cool. So we'll head out back. Um, I built three of these, one for each of my hives and we'll get them installed and see how they look. Hopefully there's a, this is my weak hive. Hopefully there's still people in there. This can just slide on right here. Tighten up these little thumb screws a little. Perfect. That should be great for them. These little side pieces will even keep some of the snow from blowing in there. I'll probably still come and check them if we get a significant snowfall just to make sure it didn't blow in and create a little drift under there, but yeah, that should work out good. Let's see here. I'm glad I measured right. I'm one of those people that don't measure things well. I don't always cut things well either. Not the best woodworker in the world, but I definitely love doing it. All right, last one. And it is chilly out. I didn't think it was supposed to be that cold today. But I did not record the process of actually building these. I didn't take you guys over to my table saw with me and cut all these pieces and screw them all together. It's really a simple process. 
if you guys want me to go back and make another one and do a separate video just on that, let me know. I'll leave a, leave a bunch of comments down below. And if I get enough people interested in it, I'll make up another one and I'll just give it away to somebody as a gift. If I have to go back and make another one, is there something about these that I don't like? Um, the pieces of wood I started with were one by sixes. And I think if I had one by eight, it would give me a little bit more space out front. And I think it might help things a little bit. But other than that, how nice is that? Keep the snow off. Thank you.